Since taking office in 2012, Chinese leader Xi Jinping has stepped up an already relentless campaign to suppress dissidents. They range from activists and lawyers to Tibetan merchants. In 2016, at least 1,400 were in prison, according to the U.S. Congressional Executive Commission on China. Other groups say the number is likely larger by several thousand. Most have been imprisoned on vague charges, like disturbing public order or inciting subversion. Many others are effectively under house arrest. The largest takedown of pro-democracy activists happened after the Tiananmen Square protests, when 1,600 people were imprisoned for up to 27 years. Liu Xiaobo, China's most prominent political dissident and a Tiananmen veteran, was arrested and imprisoned several times. The last time came in 2008, after he and others published a democratic manifesto. He died of cancer in July while serving an 11-year prison sentence. Xu Zhiyang, a legal scholar and leader of a moderate political reform movement, was imprisoned in 2013 for organizing protests against corruption and unequal access to education. She was released in July, but supporters say they expect he will be under constant surveillance. China's prisons also hold a number of religious advocates. Members of the Falun Gong spiritual group have faced arrest ever since an initial crackdown in 1999. In recent years, Beijing has also intensified a campaign against underground Christians who refuse to accept the Communist Party as a higher authority than the church. Protestant pastor Bao Guohua and his wife, Xing Wenxiang, were sentenced to 12 years in prison in 2016. They had been resisting a government campaign to remove crosses from church buildings. The Xi Jinping administration, just like his predecessors, is very nervous about political organizations which have huge membership and which are not under party control. Activists representing Tibetans and the Uyghurs, a mostly Muslim ethnic minority from China's northwest, have faced particularly harsh treatment. Economist Elam Toti is a moderate advocate for Uyghur rights. He was sentenced to life in prison in 2014 after a court found him guilty of promoting violence and separatism. Tibetan merchant Tashi Wangchuk was arrested in 2016 and is serving a 15-year prison term. He demanded the Tibetan language be taught in Western China, which has a large Tibetan population. The government has increased security forces in Tibet and the Uyghur homeland of Xinjiang to try to quash independence movements. In 2015, police detained and interrogated more than 300 human rights lawyers and their associates. Several are still in police custody. Zhou Shifeng is the founder of a law firm that was targeted in the clampdown. The firm represented sensitive clients, including Ilam Toti and dissident artist Ai Weiwei. It also represented victims of a scandal involving tainted baby formula in 2008. Zhou was sentenced to seven years for subversion in 2016. China denies holding political prisoners. It describes imprisoned dissidents as criminals and says they are treated according to Chinese law. Authorities say many imprisoned activists confess in court. Human rights groups say the confessions are usually extracted through torture and other forms of pressure. Once in prison, the activists face abuse and medical neglect. The party leadership wants to send a tough message to the dissidents. If they are jailed, they can expect very tough conditions which might do permanent damage to their physical and mental health. In the past, Western countries were often able to pressure China into releasing political prisoners. That certain rights are universal. But as China's economic influence has grown, the U.S. and other countries have shied away from openly challenging Beijing on its human rights record. Chinese human rights activists say that may mean more dissidents will end up behind bars.